and transfer to the border two leafless saplings I cannot name. <coughs> Hacking at the dry ground, I see my mother's face yellow in the black earth, her forehead bleeding with sweat. Mm. It's not you, I tell her, when she opens her eyes. I know, darling, she says. You ought to prune the buddlier. <laughs> when I've finished, my trees stick out of the ground like antenna. I check them every day for growth. At night, I can hear the archers' theme tune, but when I look out of the window, everything is still. Thank you. Uh, my next poem, it's about my love for nature, um, and it's called She Sleeps. She sleeps with bricks between her teeth. She sleeps beneath a half-open parachute. She lies across two beds at once. She sleeps in the street. She sleeps by the open window, sleeps below drifts of snow, sleeps with a black bow tied around her neck. She sleeps on bare springs and in wet wool at sea on deck. She sleeps in an inch of water. She sleeps with her eyes open and her face covered, kicking up the sheets like a marquee in a thunderstorm. She sleeps through thunderstorms. She sleeps on her belly in the rain on the grass. She sleeps so close, you can't move and you can't get past. She sleeps on her feet. She sways back and forth on the quay in time with the swell of the sea and she sleeps where she falls, prone, prostrate or curled in a ball, balanced on the sea such edge of the harbour wall. She sleeps in her coat, sleeps in wet hair, sleeps through dreams of talking fish, forest fires and nightmares, salt water welling up in her throat and she wakes and she slips downstairs and out to sleep up on the high moor, beneath the pony's feet and the cries of jackdaws. She sleeps to beat the creeps that try to rip the small bones of power from her claws. And she sings, and she sings as she sleeps. She sings of things the ocean brings in frozen heaps, the slick black sheaths of kelp, the seals trapped in nets she cannot help that swell and rock on the beach. And she sleeps in the pelts she keeps, that reek of the gulls that circle, shriek and dive if you're fool enough to breach the precincts of their rude nests that lie high on the tide line, drenched by sheets of late spring rain, and she cries. She cries out in grief as she sleeps, and it's not for you to lift the sheet from her wet cheek. Your time is brief, and she's not here to listen to you. Thank you.